Hey, what's going on guys? Steve from Badger Outdoors here. Just wanted to remind you first, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Go check out some of my other videos, after you watch this one, of course. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So, I'm going to be doing a little review again today about uh, a reel, uh, a spinning reel, that I've actually been trying to get my hands on for the better part of a year. So last year, um, when I first saw this reel, um, I looked at it online and I saw really good reviews on it and it was reasonably priced, but because of everything that happened in 2020, apparently people got uh, super motivated to go out and uh, start fishing. So uh, they have been sold out um, for a long time and I finally found it um, about a week or two ago on sale actually and in stock at my Cabela's, um, my local Cabela's. So I rushed and went and picked it up. Um, so what I'm talking about here is the Bass Pro Shop Elite um, Micro Light Spinning Reel. So um, I bought this for, it originally retails for $39.99 and it was on sale for $29.99. And, uh, which is a pretty good deal for uh, a spinning rod. It seems to be decent quality. Like I said, it got a lot of good reviews online on the Cabela website. Um, seems like a lot of people liked it. Um, it seems like it's quality um, made. It's got a lot of metal parts on it. Um, doesn't really feel cheap um, for for thirty bucks. Um, not not a bad uh, a bad deal. So um, like I said, the regular forty bucks, even forty dollars, isn't a bad deal. So my intent was to use this as a um, like a finesse uh, reel for bass fishing, and I got to thinking um, maybe I'll get into some uh, pan fishing this spring when uh, the ice starts to melt and uh, um, uh, I can get back out, out on the water. Um, I don't do a lot of pan fishing actually. I really haven't done a lot of pan fishing. I mean, I take my daughter out every now and then with the you know the bobber and worm type deal or whatever, but. I haven't ever really targeted these uh, panfish, and uh, I kind of wanted to give it a shot, and I kind of wanted to get a, get a good setup uh, to do that with. So I ended up also buying this rod here, which is also a Bass Pro Shop, and it is the Crappie Max. So this is a six foot medium light rod. As you can see, it's uh, got a lot of wiggle to it. So if you've never caught a decent sized fish on a medium light um, action rod, it's a lot of fun. Um, so hopefully I can get out there and uh, get some nice size uh, bluegill and crappie. I mean, it is a crappie rod, so we'll see how that goes. But I picked this guy up. It was also on sale um, for 30 bucks as well. So I'm all in 60 bucks for the whole combo, which isn't too bad. I know you can go out to Walmart and buy uh, some of those cheapo uh, spinning combos if you're just doing pan fishing or whatever but I wanted something a little bit nicer like I said I planned on getting this for bass fishing bought the reel decided changed my mind and I uh, saw this guy online these are relatively new too so there's not a lot of reviews um, on these guys but just looking at it it seems like it's a pretty good uh, um, rod it's got the split handle which I like a lot I prefer all my rods to be split handled I don't know why I just like the way they feel better it's got the foam grips and the eyelets too. If you notice on some of the cheaper cheaper uh, rods, the eyelets won't have those these inserts in them. This one actually does. Some of them will just be the thin wire, especially on the cheaper rods. This one has the inserts, which is pretty cool for 30 bucks. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get out there and uh, target some panfish, especially crappie. Crappie are a lot of fun to catch. I've caught them uh, by accident before. Um, I actually got uh, a video that I did on the Fluger spinning reel, which is my favorite spinning reel, personally. Um, I did a review on the President reel, and I caught a monster crappie uh, using the net rig on that. I got it on video, so if you want to, I'll, I'll, uh, you can go check that out. I'll leave it in the description below, and you can go check out that video as well. Big crappie, um, almost record <laughs> size for the state. Um, total accident, but it was pretty cool to catch. So a little bit more about the actual reel. I kind of wanted to share. This is the whole reason why I did the video to begin with is to do a little um, unboxing. Well, it's already unboxed, but a little review on the reel, go over some of the features and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so 
I got the box right here with all the info on the back. So, like I said, it is uh, the Micro Light Elite. So this is the 10F. I think there's a 5F. They didn't. I think the 5F was actually on sale, but they didn't have it. So they actually gave me this one instead, um, which is pretty cool. So it's a seven uh, ball bearing system, which isn't bad for a $40 uh, uh, spinning reel. Um, not bad at all. I usually want, you know, around 10, you know, somewhere around there, but seven is not too bad, especially for the size and stuff like that. It's 6.2 ounces in weight. It's got a max drag of six pounds. So um, you're gonna wanna be, uh, it's not really made for, um, you know, huge fish, but uh, you might have to go test it out and see how, see how big a fish I can uh, um, get with this guy. Um, so some of the line uh, capacities of it, it's got mono, it's got six pound at 180 yards, eight pound at 140 yards, and 10 pounds at just 100 yards. Um, braid, it can fit 20 pounds at 180 yards, and then the 30 pound is the same as the eight pound, which is 140 yards mono, and then 40 pound uh, braid, you can fit the 100 um, yards on. So uh, yeah, so it's a five two to one gear ratio, which is pretty standard in a spinning reel. So um, it's kind of, it's it's got the black and it's kind of got the green inlay, which actually kind of matches this. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but uh, the, the, the bail and everything like that's actually made out of aluminum. Um, it seems to, you know, function pretty well. It's got the um, handle, it's a kind of a, a plasticky handle. It's not the foam or anything like that. It does have the foam, um, you do have the foam grips on this uh, particular rod. Um, but yeah, so the handles seems pretty comfy, but uh, we shall see when we put it out to the test. It's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little while. It is um, the end of February and there is a lot of snow and ice that needs to be melted before I can go out on open water. Test this guy out. So I hope you stay tuned. Um, I uh, will be getting out there as soon as I can and see if we can uh, get in some panfish action going on this guy. So um, hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, hope you stay tuned for the conclusion, which is gonna actually be putting this to the test out on the water. And uh, yeah, so like I said, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have this, how you like it. If you don't like it, let me know. And uh, yeah, hopefully you stay tuned and I will see you guys soon. See you later. All right guys, so I just got all packed up at the farm on my unaccessible uh, uh, coyote hunt. And uh, looks like we got some open water here, maybe. we do that's what we're gonna be looking at today I've only fished this spot one other time and that was like late late fall but uh so I've se I have seen some some worm containers and stuff like that on the ground that some some a-holes left <laughs> their garbage but uh yeah so I can't park in the parking lot that's the parking lot right there I'm not even gonna attempt that with my little Honda but uh I have to park on the street maybe and uh walk up a little ways and see what we can do. So hope you stay tuned and uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so you can actually, the water's super clear right now. You can see the bottom. So I'm just gonna walk along here and see if uh, there's any deep holes maybe. It's pretty shallow. Like I said, I haven't even come, oh, there's some fish right there, yep. I see, it looks like some bass. Super clear water. That's That can't be bass, I don't know what those are. Big school of fish right out in front of me.
not look interested in whatever whatever they are they don't look interested but there's a school of them one went that way and one went that way I don't know what those are they look like bass from here but I'm not sure Oh my god. The hell was that? I feel like it freaking broke. Did I hit one of those? I don't think so. What are those? It's a huge school. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want nothing to do with me though. Oh yeah, deeper holes on the side of the rock. Uh, good rock to stand on. Uh, oh, I bet that water is freaking frigid. That's where it broke. Wow. <laughs> cool. Brand new rod. All right, guys, so do not buy this. It is the Crappie Max from Bass Pro Shops. First time using it and it snapped right in half. Do not use, do not buy. It was 29 bucks. It's a new setup that I just bought. I did, uh, um, that I showed you earlier. It's got the Bass Pro Shop uh, the micro reel and then the Crappie Max. I was throwing around this tiny, tiny little, little sausage head and snap. I, heard, I thought I heard a crack back there and then I didn't see the rod tip or anything break but it must have must have cracked and then I just cast it this last time and it completely what a what a bummer it's my only rod I brought too <laughs> all right I'm just gonna end the video here I think sorry huffing and puffing I just walked up that that's what I was fishing before this happened um so climbed up this hill just kind of see this is blackhawk lake behind me still got plenty of ice on it there's some actually some people out there out there fishing um ice fishing still but i thought i'd give this little um spillway a try when i fished it once before might be a better uh, live bait deal it's pretty shallow so uh I didn't get much opportunity to do it though because the crappie max it's more like the crappy max um it's a 29 dollar rod that i got from bass pro shops i'm gonna go see what the return policy is because i just bought it and as you saw this is the first time i had it out and i don't know what was it the, the 
fifth cast with it. I think I heard a crack and then a couple more casts it snapped completely in half. So I might have to go hit up Bass Pro Shops and uh, see if they can uh, give me some, give me something back for it because that's kind of a ripoff. But uh, just thought I'd end today's video right in this spot here. It's pretty, pretty awesome out here. Um, so didn't have a whole lot of luck with the coyotes. Had pretty bad luck with the fishing. So, um, but I got out here, I got to shoot some guns and uh, that was pretty fun. So better than being at work, I guess. So I'm gonna close today's video. Hope you guys uh, stay tuned and uh, go check out some of my other videos. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and I will see you guys hopefully soon. Once this stuff gets off, I will be back at it. And uh, I might try to find some other little holes like this that are uh, open water, but uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. deer up there all right guys so I just saw that deer I was walking back to my car and a deer came out of this thick stuff here and I thought it was bleeding from what I could see through the camera and it was so it looked like it was bleeding out of its backside so I don't know if this is like the time of year when they're starting to have babies or what if it just gave birth or if it was injured but there's more. See, it came across here. More blood there. Looks like its whole backside had blood running down it. And it went up through there. So, I don't know. It's strange. I've never seen that before. I don't know if, I don't know. <laughs> I deer hunt, but I don't know when, what time of the year they usually give birth at. But it'd be interesting to follow it back down and see what it was doing down there. Might have to give that a go. Huh. Crazy. Never seen that before.